Hey everybody, Jim here. Welcome back for another edition of Show Review. And where today we are taking a look at an awesome 90s arcade game. It's called Dyna Gear, and we have a very special guest reviewer today. So everybody, get comfortable because here comes Xander Scullion. Here comes a new challenger. Hello everyone, Xander Scullion here, and I want to thank Jim for letting me on his channel to talk about one of my favorite arcade games released in 1993, Dynagear. When it comes to the story of Dynagear, you're playing as Roger, who is an intergalactic space cop in search of an evil criminal named Gustav. Now, Gustav jumped back in time to the prehistoric era, so that leads you back in the time of dinosaurs in the search for justice. But of course, it's the gameplay that really makes Dino Gear shine. It's a game that's categorized as a side-scrolling action platform, but can also be considered a run and gun to certain elements. But it's actually a mix of all those genres that turns out to be a pretty decent title with some simple mechanics. But well implemented and explained, it's a pretty frantic game full of action from start to finish, and you must attack our enemies and dodge their attacks and jump on platforms throughout the game itself. This game can be fairly simple mechanically, and very responsive as well. From axes to mallets to swords, Roger has a lot of weapons on his arsenal and you also get help from Wolf, one of the, I guess, leaders of this Wolf tribe. And you can also play as Wolf if you're playing this two-player co-op. It has a pretty good level of replayability as certain parts and paths you can choose from and that's pretty surprising for an arcade game of this stature. Listen, Dyna Gear has so many things I absolutely love about a video game. When I'm playing a platformer or a running gun, I unintentionally try to speedrun it. I don't know what it is. I like to go to point A to point B as fast as possible. I'm not trying to collect all the coins. I'm not trying to collect all the nooks and crannies and find all the secrets. I just want to blast through the game as fast as possible and not die. It's a personal preference when I play these games that Dyna Gear actually congratulates. While the music can be kind of forgettable, I absolutely love the 2D hand-drawn sprites. Listen, I, I look at Dyna Gear and I see a long lost Saturday morning cartoon. The folks at Sandy really missed the mark with this. And you may be asking yourself, Xander, th this game sounds amazing. Where's the catch? Where Are there any issues with this game? Yes, yes. U ultimately, and ironically, the things I love about Dyna Gear are also its downfall. Because upon playing Dyna Gear, as you progress through the game, you go from running gun, spraying everything, just killing everything, to almost like labyrinth stages. And this kind of game, going through a maze, you're gonna find yourself kind of losing the momentum of, you, of the trajectory of trying to get to point B. And it kind of makes you lose the immersion that you originally had, say, with the first three and a half stages but it's not an incredibly difficult game if anything it shows you that a game can be fun without being too difficult but i think the biggest flaw of dyna gear is the fact that it was never released on consoles unfortunately this is an arcade only title and what a shame because i could have definitely seen this on the super nintendo or sega genesis but 93 was a weird time for gaming a lot of uh marketing was going more towards the 3d polygons and a lot of folks on the Western markets were seeing 2D hand-drawn sprites like Dyna Gear, in my opinion, a beautiful game as something of the past. So unfortunately, the only way to enjoy this game is downloading something like MAME, or if you're lucky enough to have an arcade around you and they have Dyna Gear, I cannot recommend this game enough. It's freaking awesome. But yeah, Dyna Gear. It's freaking awesome. You guys definitely need to check it out. And also, I want to thank you again, Jim, for letting me on the channel and talk about this game. And as always, guys, happy gaming. Big time shout out and thank you to Xander Scullion, not only for joining me for this review, but also for choosing such a kick-ass game because just like with Mystic Warriors, this is an early 90s arcade action game 
that I'd never even heard of, let alone played, and from the second I hit the start button, I was immediately having fun. Dynagear is basically everything I love in an arcade game. It's easy to pick up and play, and the objective is very clear from the beginning. Run from point A to point B, destroy everything that stands in front of you, pick up a bunch of point bonuses along the way, and do it as quickly as possible. There's a time limit for each stage, and there's not a ton of time on the clock, so like Xander pointed out, this is a game that encourages you to haul ass and clear stages as quickly as you can. This makes for some very fast, frantic, and sometimes just a wee bit overwhelming gameplay, but it is a hell of a lot of fun. My only regret is that I've yet to play this game with a second player, which I imagine is even more fun than playing solo. Also, yes, there are some spots where the game slows down a bit, killing your momentum in the process, but for the most part, it's balls to the wall, non-stop action, and that's just how I like it. If you've got a spare 30 minutes or so, you can blast through this game and have a great time doing it. The visuals are also quite striking, with some very large character sprites, including some massive dinosaurs to dish out some serious pain on, and there's a variety of vibrant and detailed backgrounds to enjoy, or at least as much as you can, as you sprint through the stage at top speed. The soundtrack is definitely the weakest aspect of the game. The music definitely isn't bad, it's just very forgettable, and mostly drowned out by the constant noise of the sound effects, but if gameplay is all you're really worried about, then Dyna Blaster has got you covered because it's awesome. So thank you once again to Xander Scullion for joining me today. If you haven't already, definitely go and give his channel a look for some excellent gaming content. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time on Show Rebukin.